It was a day on the show, but if you missed it before, now we're gonna rerun it, run it. Rewind. Hey, baby. Yeah. Oh! Now, man. Heywood, I, I don't know if we've ever insulted you. You've insulted me a lot of times, man. All right, how about you sing us a song one more time? Let me hear how bad of a singer you are, and then I will decide on whether I will give you the 26,000 pesos cash. She was hard for the money. How about how about a love song? Yeah, give, give me for a slow me. song, though. Give me a slow song. I... The biggest prize giveaway in the history of radio happened right here from the three biggest names in all of radio Mo Twister, Mojo Jojo, and Grace Lee. Let's okay. talk to Brian okay, Gorell, okay. uh, Australian blogger extraordinaire, who, uh, as you know, you know all the story. I, I don't know why am I even introing yeah. him. Brian, good morning. Hi, good morning, guys. Hi, Brian. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Nice to have you back, Bianca. How are you feeling today? Uh, you know, just this morning, I'm feeling great. I had a great sleep, and uh, some friends uh, came over for dinner last night. We had a great time, and I feel fantastic this morning, Can you, all things considering. Time. Can you almost say that uh, life is uh, starting to get back on track for you, or is it still <laughs> yeah, pretty stressful? Yeah, you know what, it's ironic you say that, because the last few days for the first time, I've really felt like I'm... You know, so yeah, back on track. This is sort of becoming a routine for me. I'm becoming more familiar with the patterns that with, with, with the blog, and and I'm getting stronger and stronger. And I seem to be able to handle the um, the negativity and hate a little bit better every day. Is this is this because there are any significant improvements, or well, are you just getting used to how things are going? Like you said, I I I, I think I'm just getting used to how things are going. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, obviously, it's, <laughs> this has been a, a huge disruption uh, in my life. And although it's self-created, uh, it was out of desperation. And But I think at the end of the day, the more that my friends become familiar with my objective and my infrastructure understands um, more and more every day what my objective is, right. yeah, I do feel a little bit better. And the support I have from my readers is obviously overwhelming. As always. I've received over 12,000 emails so far. Wow, outstanding. Brian Gorell here on the phone. And Brian, what's up with the uh, blog now? What's what's going on? Anything, uh, anything new in the life of uh, Mr. Gorell? Well, you know, at the moment I'm focusing on the blog. Uh, for some reason, for some outrageous reason, the onus is completely up to me in this particular scenario to prove absolutely everything that I'm claiming against DJ. So in this regard, I have to put on I have to put on the blog receipts, uh, detailed information, so on and so forth. Very private information. But but proof but, though, proof that uh, whatever you claim right. is true is what you're saying. Yeah, of course, the onus is completely on me to prove absolutely everything that I've accused DJ of. Now I think I've done that. I've, yeah, because I think the people would want proof. Because after a while, I mean, you're 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 a few weeks in right now into the limelight, and a lot of the things you say, people are going to say, okay, you know what? We know the story. Mm -hmm. We know what's going on. We know how pissed you are. Now I want to yeah. see some paperwork. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah. Proof, okay, proof so I've been paper. posting paperwork since I opened my blog. I can't help it that people who read my blog aren't going back to the beginning to look at the Western Union receipts. I mean, this is the problem with the blog. Um, a lot of the people, a lot of my readers, a lot of new readers read the first two pages and they try to get the situation under control. But there's mm -hmm. 168 posts that there's are a lot of my posts. Blog. Right. This blog has been literally blood, sweat and tears for me. So it's hard for me to address every mm -hmm. single individual right, who right. has questions about my about my blog well, because, um, come on, I've been working on this for almost two months now. Well, you know, a lot of but, people that have been uh, reading your blog, uh, I think, uh, found out about it through through radio and over the weekend. Uh, Mo Twister here was able to to speak with uh, with DJ on uh, on national television. Were you able to catch yeah, that? Yeah, I know. Of course, I watched. That. Was I? Here's he the, here's, here's the, the, the big question, though. Was I handsome? You're hot. <laughs> you should. Yeah, I, I think I received at least five hundred emails. Yeah, well, um, about that. <laughs> that's, that's, so, that's, the, that's the pressing and, issue here, right? Uh, you know. I watched that show, and I, 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 I was offered an opportunity to be on that show, and mm -hmm. I think the majority of my readers understand now why I didn't, in fact, go on. When I found out that um, you were going to um, go on the show, Mo, of course, you know, I was thrilled, because at least I, I felt at least I was going to have 
uh, a friend. somebody <laughs> in, in my corner because the, the general consensus over that interview, although I think Karina Sanchez did really well by getting him on her show, I still don't know how she managed to do that. Um, I think that DJ once again uh, uh, dug his own grave, and, and I'm glad that he went on television because he did give my story validity, whereas before there was a lot of sensationalism attached to my blog. By him going on television with his family, he's the one who uh, uh, firmly underpinned my blog in the Filipino consciousness, because well, going on television is... To me, the same as admitting that you're wrong. Okay, now when is when are you gonna go? I mean, when are, when are we gonna see a big one on one? Now I, I, we've seen the snippets in I like in the yes. TV the patrol and stuff like that. No, but I mean, I know I, I had talked to Karina Sanchez. She said she's willing to fly to uh, Australia to oh, get your side. Oh, absolutely, I'm prepared to do anything with Karina. I feel uh, I'm, I'm cool with flying over there if it's free. Um, you know, to hang out a day PG, with you. Anyone who and, wants to bring Mo? Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel I'm, frustrated. At this point, and so I'm willing to do anything with with on television and the radio. But the one thing I'm not willing to do, Mo, uh, Mojo, and Korean, I'm not prepared to um, go on some Jerry Springer esque sort of show where it's uh, DJ and I th throwing insults at each other. Look, the bottom line is this: I've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that DJ stole my money. When is the onus and responsibility and pressure going to be put on Mr. Montano to come up and show people? what he did with the $70,000. If he gave me that money for bills and rent and so on and so forth, well, let's see the lease, DJ, because your name is on that lease. My name is not on anything. Angry. Exactly. Angry. And he organized this when I was in Australia. Good for goodness sake, how can, I, how can I organize a lease when I'm in the country? How right. can I organize a telephone reception and a cable? Right. For goodness sake, when I lived in the Philippines, it was impossible for me to organize anything. All right. Now, Joe, what's, what, do you, what do you got there? No, uh, well, on the interview uh, this past weekend with uh, Mo, DJ, and Karina, DJ said that he's actually filing charges against you. For yes. for unjust vexation and sure. uh, slight physical injuries, you know, I spoke with a sure. lawyer the other day. Uh, remember, Kitty Go? She recommended yep. a lawyer, uh, R.G. Guevara, and he, he was saying, you know, for unjust vexation, it's like something that rich people slap on other rich people. It's, it's, oh yeah, they hit, the one thing rich people hate is when you go and tell other people what they've done to you. Yeah, like unjust vexation could be like like you yelling at someone or you putting up the middle finger at somebody. The fine well, here hold in the on one second. I think the worst thing you could do with a rich person is call them poor. <laughs> that could be unjust vexation. You, you call a rich person poor, you got problems. Well, the, 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 you got big yeah, problems. They, 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 or, or a feeling rich they, person. They get pissed Why you call them poor. <laughs> anyway, Look, I'm sorry. I, I, just I, yeah, <laughs> to let you know, the fine, is, I think, is 200 pesos or five, 400 pesos or 30 days in jail. That's the, the fine for unjust yeah, vexation. Yeah, vexation, my lawyer, in Australia, it's a lot different. But uh, I understand in the Philippines. Uh, the, the the laws. I understand why they've been enacted to protect certain people, but here in Australia it's different. Vexation, it, it, vexation means um, that I have specifically called up your employer. Mm -hmm. I have prevented you from making money. I understand that. Now, DJ didn't want me to tell a soul what he did to me. Mm -hmm. When he found out that I was telling people on Borg High, after three months of silence, by the way, mm -hmm. because I still hoped that he would come to his senses and pay me back, I didn't attack him uh, uh, initially by telling people because I still thought that he would wake up one day and pay me back. When I realized he was never going to pay me back, that's when I started that's telling when you people. Went now, okay, let's talk a little bit, uh, aside from the issue, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on now. Uh, are you receiving death threats? Because we got a couple. Uh, Mojo and I, we didn't, see, we, we didn't get per se death threats. We had just the whole uh, something's going to happen to you if you keep Brian I've received from. threats uh, off and on since I've come back to Australia. Anything it's recently? Bad. Anything? Anything good? Last well, night, you know, I've, I've, be graphic. I've, well, I can't be really graphic with the things that were said last night, but uh, you, you when were I so, called the wait, police you, this morning, I, t I explained to them what was being said. You had, you, so you, got, you had a death threat last night? Thou shall not kill. 